listeners, you're welcome to another episode of The Now Show. The show where we take you on a journey to becoming a better you. Today's episode, we're going to be talking about fit for living. And joining me to talk about this is somebody who's been on this journey himself. And, ah, my friend, my brother, Mr. Francis Obi. Francis is the president of Badminton Federation of Nigeria and also the second vice chairman of the Nigeria Olympic Committee. So he's a sporty man. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, so um, we're talking to him because he's always been a very active person, sport wise, and um, something happened, <laughs> you know, like things always happen along the way. And um, so Francis is going to take us on this journey. You're welcome to the Now Show again. Thank you very much, about today. So your journey to fit for living. <laughs> yes. Uh, mm-hmm. Like you said, mm-hmm. I've always been a very active sports person. I mean, I've always been playing badminton uh, at the veteran level. And uh, so, I mean, my life high was such that a week would not go by without me playing at least four, three times, you know, in a week. So I never thought that there could be a time when I could go off the game for up to a month, mm. stop less of two, three months. Mm. Uh, and that happened when I became the president of the Federation. I mean, my schedule became so tight. And um, so one month, two months, I will not even hold the racket. Wow. So, <laughs> oh, you can so, compete this a big man, big trouble. <laughs> I, I kept, I mean, I was wondering, could, mm. could this really happen? Mm. And uh, in my active playing days, I mean, it wasn't just playing badminton because in there to be fit, so I was also using the gym, especially when I had competitions to play. Mm. So I just went off totally. So by the time we got to the lockdown, I was in uh, March, mm-hmm. end of March, I was weighing 109 wow. kg. Yeah, I put 109 on from your usual? 80 something, 90 something. Wow. Mm. So I, at that point, I knew that. Uh, I needed to do something, and luckily the lockdown just created the avenue. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, you were you were told not, not to go anywhere. Yeah. So the first few days very boring, nothing. I mean, you watch TV, sit down, and of course, you know that even would make it more 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 challenging mm-hmm. because you are not even able to go out or move around or do anything. Mm-hmm. So at that point, I just decided that it was time to stand, go back to my, you know, workout routine. So what so, from sorry to put you in thought. Um what I'm hearing from you is that a sedentary lifestyle is not the best. Because so, here you were, you didn't play for three, four months, and before you knew it, you had gone from it to something to a hundred and ninety kilograms. Yeah. Wow. Hmm. So I I decided to start my workout routine hmm. and I started very gradually because I mean, even back to my secondary school days, I used to do long distance. I used to run mm-hmm. 10 up to 20 something kilometers. Mm-hmm. So I started gradually by walking. I mean, I used to run, but I didn't okay. start running. Okay. So I think the first, at the beginning, I started with about four kilometers, just mm-hmm. walk. Mm-hmm. Gradually, I was increasing the number of kilometers, six, eight, 10, 12. Mm-hmm. And I got to 16. Wow. I was just walking. And then gradually, I started, you know, I would do some work and I'll run a bit. Do okay. some work, run a bit. Mm. So by June, I mean, coupled with my diet uh, regime, mm. my weight came down to 95. Mm. So, 109 to 95. Five, amazing, yeah. amazing. So, mm. um, I mean, that was quite, uh, but I must tell you that it was quite a challenge. Because, <laughs> uh, <laughs> we shouldn't you know, think it's just uh, no, an no, easy no, ride. No, mm. not at all. I mean, mm. Um, I was having to start uh, sleeping early okay. because I needed my body to recover, to rest well. So sleep was, is also part of it. Very, very important. Wow. So exercise, diet, sleep. Hmm. I mean, they must go together. So okay. I did all that. And um, I mean, you know, like I said at the beginning, it was quite a challenge because hmm. the weight was there. My knees, my joints, I was yeah. feeling it. Hmm. But as the weight was going down, all that hmm. pain started to disappear. Okay. So I felt okay. much better. And uh, so, but by around June, I was feeling funny. I wasn't feeling very, 
I mean, and you know, at that time, I was the peak of the pandemic. Yeah. So you couldn't just walk into any hospital. Mm-hmm. I remember at that time, for any hospital to attend to you, you, you must come with a test showing that you have tested negative. Mm-hmm. So uh, eventually, I got uh, treated for malaria. But along the line, you know, while I was going for some tests, my daughter, who is a, in the medical school, yeah. just kept telling me, oh, daddy, do a chest x-ray, just check to make sure that everything was okay. So the first time I went, I came back. Did you do it? I said, oh, why didn't I say, okay, sorry, I'll do it next. Mm. So I did that and uh, they said everything was clear, but they noticed something was wrong. My heart was a bit enlarged. Wow. And uh, so I had to run a series of tests, ECG and everything. And at the end of the day, you know, I saw the cardiologist and uh, she told me that I was very lucky. Mm. But for my exercises, it could have been quite bad hmm. so at that point he made it clear to me that uh, this had to become a lifestyle, a lifestyle. choice for me hmm. i mean i just had to do exercises hmm. and uh, so and uh, since then i've not looked back so from when i got better yeah from uh, undergoing treatment for that second uh, for that uh, uh, situation yeah now I've, I've i've come down to 90 ages. Wow. And wow. uh, which is where I want to be. So okay. what I'm doing now is just maintaining, okay. maintaining that weight, and just making sure that, making sure that I don't go back to Egypt. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, I'm sure when, um, when you think of the fact that you had a near-death experience yeah. with, you know, this your heart situation, definitely that will, you know, I, and I thought to myself, you know, because when I saw your picture, I couldn't believe it. At first, I didn't believe that you got that big, you know, because I hadn't seen you for some time. Um, yeah. Then, all of a sudden, I saw your now picture beside it, and I'm like, wow, this is amazing. How on earth did you get this big? And we, we always ask ourselves these questions. When many of us actually just pump up without realizing that, you know, this is creeping up on you. Yeah. And... Um, what this is about is that we shouldn't wait until we have a health care before we do something. We should actually be fit for us to live properly. So that's why we brought you so that you could talk about your experience and let people know that, listen, fitness has to be part of your lifestyle so that you don't have this kind of occurrences where you have, you know, this kind of news, you know, medically. Thank God for your daughter. Yeah. Because if your daughter didn't say, I mean, we might not have, is something else. Yeah, we might not have picked it. Picked it up, you know, early enough. Early because enough, early yeah. section in anything is very important. I'm sure that's why they could deal with it so, you know, so quickly. So what would be your advice to people? <laughs> people. <laughs> I'm happy you're asking that question because, uh, and I'm, 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 I hope you are also including yourself among those people. <laughs> so, Why do you think I'm laughing at saying people? <laughs> yeah, because uh, you, you have put on a bit of weight oh, you know, from the last time it. we saw. I know, so, I know. But you know, you know what, I, what I share with people mm-hmm. is that uh, what this taught me mm-hmm. very seriously was the fact that uh, in life, generally in life, mm-hmm. uh, there's nothing that's impossible. Hmm. If you set your mind to it and you are disciplined enough, Consistency is very key. Hmm. If you set your mind to it and you are committed to it and you are disciplined, I will tell you that there were times because I I, I, I wake up at five thirty hmm. to get ready to do my routines and then prepare to go out for my walk. Hmm. There are times you I will get up. You know, at the beginning I was using the I was setting the alarm. Okay. After a while my body adjusts. Adjusts. Adjust. So, even before the alarm goes up, mm, I wake you are up. up. I'm ready. Mm. You know, there are times you wake up. Ah, oh, today I should just. I, I've been doing it. I've tried. Let me take today off. Mm. Those are the times when laziness begins to creep in. And, but those are the times also your willpower mm. is tested. Mm. You know, how much are you ready to go? Your willpower is tested. Wow. But also, you, you know. must mm. understand your body. Mm. You know, there are times. You shouldn't put beyond. Yeah, because you I was going to ask that that you know sometimes yeah, it's not yeah, for yeah. us to push beyond our boundaries. Yes, <laughs> it's not good, but uh, yes, you must be able to draw a line and mm, strike mm. that balance 
to know when that boundary is to push and then mm -hmm. the time when laziness is creeping in to mm -hmm. want to discourage you from maintaining that uh, routine mm -hmm. um, so for me uh, set your mind to it and what i advise people not everybody can do 21 or 10 kilometers or even five mm -hmm. just choose what it's okay for you what is most important is for you to be consistent even if it's two kilometers three kilometers you can decide two or three times or four times a week mm. anything that your body can cope with mm. just do it consistently and religiously and then of course very critical you watch what you do. Mm. Mm. i i mean you know before my experience before yes. i had to go to the hospital i'd already started you know when i started working out I knew that my diet was important. So okay. I was watching what I was eating, mm -hmm. the timing, okay. the quantity, and the quality. Very key. Hmm. So timing, quantity, and, and, yeah, and, the, and, and quantity. the quantity. Very, wow. very, very okay. important. So, but okay. by the time I had that problem, mm -hmm. of course, my cardiologist said, oh, good, you're already on the right track. But okay. now we needed to We're adjust okay. a bit okay. the kind of things you can eat and the kind of things you should just, you know, take off totally. Mm -hmm. Now you don't. Need. So, and I, I just realized that the moment I, I started eating healthy, mm -hmm. I felt better, I felt stronger. Mm -hmm. I mean, everything just. Yeah. I will tell you something until I started this. Mm -hmm. We eat what we don't need, hmm. especially in terms of quantity. We eat what we don't yeah, need. Yeah, so I, I, had, I had a challenge with my wife because um, she was used to always putting food on the plate and and when she had, so we, when I started we, this, we think that's the way to satisfy the men. Yes. To make so sure I that kept saying, no, please re reduce the portion, <laughs> and you say eat what you want and leave the rest. But the truth, you walk down, so eat. No, but the truth yes. is this: once it enters the plate and is brought before you, mm -hmm. even when you are full, the tendency is for you to want to finish it. Oh, okay. so you keep you Especially eat until you, you don't like need it. Food. In fact, because she's the one that will say nothing must wait. <laughs> So, <laughs> at the same time, you bring that quantity. Like that, you so, know? at a point, I, my daughter, you know, we're having a very good partnership. She knew what I wanted. Mm. So, I started and mm. said, okay, my daughter should go and dish the food. Okay. Uh, sometimes I want to come to the kitchen. I want to see what you are dishing so that it doesn't, you know. So, mm. th that discipline is very key. Okay. Don't eat what you don't need. Mm -hmm. Eat exactly what, what you require. For you. So, I, I did that and uh, I must tell you, I mean, the results are there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I found out that a lot of people seem to always have excuses, especially, you know, middle age that we're getting older. They think that, you know, you need to slow down. But that really is when exercises and watching the things that go into your body and your sleep pattern, like you said, yeah. those are even the times that those things become more necessary. Very, absolutely. Mm. Very, mm. very necessary. So, uh, I, I, as you get older, I, I think, like I said, I used to run. Yeah. But now, I don't run that much. Mm -hmm. I was still running. I mean, during the lockdown, I ran yes. a lot. Mm -hmm. There was a time I was running 21 kilometers straight. Wow. Yeah, non-stop. But now I don't do that anymore. So what mm -hmm. I do, worst case, I walk, mm -hmm. run a bit, walk, okay. run a bit, okay. walk. So do it. There are days I my I feel like I don't need to run. I will just walk all the way. Okay. So that's okay. that's what I mean when I say understand your body. Mm -hmm. So don't do what what your body can't cope with. Mm -hmm. So basically, it's um, but as you get older, I mean, it's advice. Walking is very good, absolutely, mm. especially mm. as you are getting older. Yeah. So your heart, you know, pumps and it's works. Pumping. Yes, mm. and works very, very mm. well. Mm. And you know, this running was it easier for you to run at this stage because you, you were running when you were much younger? Yeah. Because I mean, for somebody who has never run, I mean, I never used to like sports when I was school. Then. I now start doing exercises and you tell me to start on. I can't run. No. Um, uh, you I know, um, that's another thing. Yes. You know, some people want to start and you want to jump into it. Mm. Even me that I used to run before, I yes. realized that your body needs to, you need to condition your body mm -hmm. to get you. Mm. So I started, I didn't run, I was walking. Mm. Because with time, I got into the groove and I started, you know, I started running, walking, running, then it got to so a point. So there's a I gradual felt, progression. Yes, progression. Mm. My body mm. was strong and fit enough i just fired on i, I mean i could run all the way wow. but now i just realized that i need to slow it down mm. so i walk more and then i do some running from this i just feel like okay. so because of the badminton i play okay you need to be fit okay so um 
uh, you know, before the lockdown, mm-hmm. everybody saw me a few times at the club mm-hmm. and they knew what my stomach looked like. Wow. <laughs> so wow. when I came and in, there's nothing people, there now. <laughs> they couldn't believe it. It was like, wait, 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 what happened? Mm-hmm. And I, mm-hmm. but, but I, I kept sharing this story to let people know that you can all, oh, everybody can do it. Mm-hmm. There was no rocket science, there was no magic. It was just that discipline. I mean, I just made up my mind and I, I said, you know what? I'm going to do this. Mm. I'm going to do it. And when I started seeing the results, you know, I wasn't weighing, stepping on the scale every day. Okay. But I would just give it a while. Okay. And I go there, two kg has gone, mm. three has gone. I mm. say, oh, you mean three mm. can go, then five can go. And that spurs you on. And yes. I kept. Yes. So, I mean, you know, I actually hit 87 kg. Wow. But I didn't oh, want to so. go. I didn't want to go there. <laughs> <laughs> so I will not disappear. You know, oh. I wanted to. Be... <laughs> so I'm just. It's so important. Tell me, you should stop. Don't worry about. You know what I'm doing? Now, like I said, I'm maintaining. Mm. Just mm. keep. Just mm. keep that way because mm. uh, for my height, I mean that mm. that way. Nineteen. Just between nineteen ninety two. Not mm. more than that. I mm. And you know the environment where we're in. People have this tendency when they've seen you, you're big. Then all of a sudden. Start losing weight. They think that maybe you have a problem, or okay. I went for a press conference. Mm-hmm. Uh, the basketball federation were okay. signing an agreement with, uh, I think, a sponsor. Yeah. And the president invited me, so I was on the high table with him and the minister. Yeah. I know. You can just imagine some who will see you who won't have the confidence or won't be bold enough to ask. To you. ask you. But I had one yes. or two of the press guys who were my very close friends. Yes. That, Waiting happened. <laughs> <laughs> so, of course, waiting happened. So yes. I, I told them, I said, no, nothing happened. I'm okay. I'm, I'm, I'm working out. That you have a problem. Yes, with you have a problem. That's why. And you are sick yes. or something. But you no, know, for me, I mean, I've gotten you. That, that's not my problem, really. Mm. Because since you know what it is, yes. it doesn't bother you. I mean, yes. people. But those who are bold enough to ask, I share with them. Yes. So that yes. I try to encourage people to, yes. to, to let them know that uh, they can do because it. Because I remember something profound you said to me, you know, when I saw that that had happened and I gave you a call. And you said, my sister, if you love your life, you will be on this path. You will. You don't have a choice. Wow. It's a lifestyle choice. Mm. That's what it should be. I tell mm. people, mm. you make up your mind, you decide this is what I want to do and this is what I want to achieve. And you set a target and you go for it. Mm. I just mm. there's no other way to, to, to look so, at it. Oh, well, you know, I need to ask you one funny question. Yeah. You yeah. know, as president of the Badminton Federation of Nigeria, and um, you were on the big side, did you have anybody <laughs> to throw, throw it at you that how can you be president of Badminton and you are this? No, so funny enough, and you are this size. You know, I, 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 some people said I was carrying it well, hmm. but I will tell you something that a lot of people still didn't. Until until you see those two pictures. Yes. There was a, a forum that it was put on. People were arguing that it's not the same person. Mm. I mean, there was that argument. Mm. So, mm. Uh, but because of also my height. Yes. So that weight okay. wasn't there. But I, I, I personally knew that. You know that um, after this, I gave out a lot of my clothes. Of then course, some, course, yeah, was... some I stopped using because they were too to tight. Be. Okay. Now they are okay. well fitted. Okay. And then those you... I didn't want to give out, uh-huh. I had to take them to my tailors okay. to go take them down. Mm. You know, so um a lot of people didn't really see that. And then in Nigeria, the, the mindset is not that necessarily that you are president means that you have to be mm-hmm. so you can be as big as anything in the, for, for, for and you, a lot of people. It doesn't matter. But for me, I, I felt you know. that Mm-hmm. You need to lead by example. Mm. So even at that mm. point, I was still trying. I was still able to play. So now, I share my workout with okay. my players. Okay. And I keep telling them I'm going to challenge them. Mm-hmm. So some of them even have taken the challenge up, and they are like they are doing more than they used to do because okay. they sat down and were like, if our president if can, president do, this, can do, this, do this, then why can't I, as a player, even do more? Mm. So that has also encouraged quite a number of them. Yeah, so and, uh, I mean, uh, there's something about leading by example, yeah. definitely. Yeah. Wow, wow, wow. And I hope you're encouraging people to, you know, this lifestyle of... Yeah, hmm. it's, uh, it's um, I, I, you can't understand it. I can't explain it in mm. words, you know. It, it, it's better experience, mm. I must tell you, because mm. uh, I know the difference. Yes. And I, I know how I felt. Mm. I was, yes. and I know how I feel now, and mm. I am. So, I mean, like I keep telling you, there's no going back to Egypt. There's no going back never, to Egypt. Never, never, <laughs> I can never go back there. No, mm. no, no, no. I've mm. seen 
the two sides. And yes, I, I, yes. I've seen the difference and mm. it's quite a, And the funny one, let me just throw this. You know, mm -hmm. I have a, a forum where my family members, my siblings. Okay. So our senior brother is also into this fitness thing. Okay. So anytime he walks out, he will put it up, maybe put up a picture and say, oh, my morning tea. Mm -hmm. So he was doing that. And that time I had not started. I wasn't <laughs> doing it so when I started mine, yes. I said, no, I wasn't going to use tea. Mm -hmm. So it, And this has become very popular now. Yes. So I called it morning kunu. <laughs> so, everybody, <laughs> so every morning when I go out, I say yes. my morning kunu has okay. been done. And uh, I mean, everybody. So I, I, I started sharing that on another forum. And you know that... Um, one or two members there yes. thought maybe there was something about the kunu that maybe it was the kunu that was making that was... So, so they had to call me privately please can you share this thing i said no i'm just it's needing just, to describe it yes, <laughs> you know? yes. i mean i found it very funny <laughs> and that, that shows that... you that a lot of people are interested everybody that's wants not, to be fit but right. i mean but at the same time i must also say that a lot of people are always looking for the oh. shortcut <laughs> There's if, no, if there's Kunu, no. If, if Kunu was the was the secret, uh, I'm, sure, I'm sure the Kunu would have been, they would have sold out in the market. Everybody would buy. It. But, That's right. I know. You know, like I said, no mm. pain, no gain. No gain. You must be ready to make the sacrifice, mm. the discipline, mm. everything. I mean, that's what. And uh, what what is most fulfilling, is when you begin to see the result. When you see the result. That, mm. that for me was the ultimate. Mm. 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 You know. And of course, everybody likes results. You know, Absolutely. Especially when it has to do with your health. Because nobody Absolutely. wants the health care. And if there's something you can do regularly, like you said, consistently to maintain Same. a fit lifestyle, it's better. I mean, who would not want to have a fit lifestyle? Not to have any care or anything like that. Wow. And for me, I think the challenge for me mm. going forward is uh, when that busy schedule comes back. Okay. traveling again okay. i mean that started now but yeah. i'm trying very hard to walk around there especially mm -hmm. with my diet yeah so when i travel now the first thing i do i go to a, a shop buy yes. fruits yes because i was going to ask that i will just buy enough advice. fruits mm -hmm. keep them okay. so if you come to my room you will think that i'm uh, selling fruit <laughs> <laughs> because i know that okay three of my meals have to be fruits okay so, I must so have you those. map so, that out yeah out so mm. i call them then for fish it's easy for me yes. i can go somewhere by it or i can okay. even just order for fish pepper soup. Mm. so once i'm able mm. to achieve that for my diet yes. then every other thing is to just watch one. so sometimes i go somewhere and they serve me the food i will just cut it into half okay. i say take away this one i don't yes. want it on my plate mm. you know so mm. so the exercise part because of security it's not everywhere you can go out to work out so yeah. i'm trying to get around that so when i'm okay. in abuja for example i drive to secured places okay park my car and okay. do what i have to do okay it takes a lot of effort too mm -hmm. i mean because when i'm back in lagos mm -hmm. it's, you just walk out of my house within my estate yeah. it's secure and i can do it but yeah. if you go out you now have to go that extra length so okay. sometimes that wheel you mm -hmm. want to go drive all the way to a particular location okay. just because you want you to want to exercise yeah Okay, so your advice to people who don't live in secured areas is drive out, look for somewhere that's secure secured, and yeah. go to exactly. so that you can express yourself and complete your exercises. Right. Wow, amazing. Good, good. And there are so many you can do indoors, really. Okay. Uh, just okay. That for me, I just have a, I prefer the fresh air you being outside. Have to outside. Uh, just, okay. So, but of course, on a rainy day, mm -hmm. I mean, you have to be indoors, you do it. Okay. Yeah. So, what are the, some of the indoor? In fact, even with my workout, you know, anytime I go out to work, yes. when I come back, I do a minimum of 300 sit up. Wow. Yeah. 300 sit up. Yeah, that's what I do. Okay. I had to buy a sit up bench mm. so that I would do it properly, you okay. know. So during that lockdown, I just mm. ordered for it and they brought it in. And, you know, so, so many others. I mean, floor exercises that you can do, stretch. Mm. For people, you know, I, I found out that um, some things you look at being little. Yeah. When, like, like I said, when you are consistently doing it, mm. you know, they make a lot of difference to wow. your body. Yeah. Wow. Wow. They make so, a lot of difference to your body. Skipping. You can skip oh. on the spot. Mm -hmm. you know, that mm. one is also difficult. But once you master it, yeah. I mean, you will enjoy it. I can tell you that. Wow. Yeah. I must thank you for this time that you have came with us. 
because I'm sure somebody somewhere has been inspired to pick up tips to live better. Because at the end of the day, nobody wants a health care. I mean, we can't stress it enough and everything like that. And little steps become giant results. Absolutely. Yeah. Thank you so much again, Mr. Francis Obi, for coming, for accepting my invitation and for talking about yourself. And um, so there's something that we do on the Now Show, which we call the final word, so that if our viewers don't even remember everything that you have said, one a one liner, two liner that they're going to, you know, remember, that they're going to pick up and remember and live by. No pain, no gain. Impossible, nothing. Just set your mind to it. Wow. Just set your mind to it. Until we come your way again on the now show, a positive other show. Signing off with Mr. Pat Obi. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Don't forget to like this video. And if you haven't, subscribe to the Now Show channel today and hit the notification bell so that you do not miss any video that is uploaded. Thank you for watching.